rolling with Nat 20. I'm Nat 20, and we're back with more Adventurer Manager. And off screen, because I was worried, I did respec Lemon to be more about the fire than about the frost. Because we are going to be going into the ice cave. And I imagine that things in a place called an ice cave can handle a little bit of cold, so. Yeah. I don't want to be attacking them with cold, I want to be attacking them with fire. But, as you can see, our A-team needs to rest up a little bit, not too much, but we can fast forward for a little bit, maybe clear the winter. I don't know, I don't know how long it's going to take, I don't know how long these guys can handle it, probably not too much longer. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go a little bit longer, oop, until some stuff happens, here we go. These guys need to portal out. They're all good. We've got some loot. None of this looks good. Whatever. Maybe some of this will be better. I don't know. It's all pretty low level. Maybe it'll be okay for some of our adventures that auto adventure these days. And we got some people completing a bunch of university training. Wow, 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 wow. Remember how I set up a bunch of people to do university training at the same time? They're all finishing at about the same time. So, I'm gonna have to put a bunch of people in university. So I'll be back in a sec when I do that. Okay, spent mo a lot of my money. Got everybody in university classes. Um, and double check the adventures. Yep, yep, double check this. Getting up there. And, boom. We're going to have to put a couple more people in university. Not too many. Just Dorfurious. Next course of shields. And, ooh. With how much money we have left, I might actually hold off because our main team is going to need in there pretty soon. Mega Pro and LGL don't really matter too much. So, yeah, I will hold off for a moment and finish up the winter and pull out these teams to get some money and some loot ooh eh that could be cool maybe I don't know definitely not for our main team but for a side team and you portal out show me my loot some other cool mythical things always handy always nice out we make a whole bunch more money there so I will have uh, plenty of money to put everybody back in the university so I'll do that right now all right spent all my money got the main crew in university course classes and because of uh, how advanced they are it costs a lot that being said we got a bunch of our adventures including our main crew done resting Got a couple people that we could throw in a side adventure, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Team 10 is ready for a side adventure. Just Team 10 all set up as far as levels and all this go. Maybe not exactly, exactly. There, I'm sure improvements could be made like this. Yeah. That seems better. Just throw that on. Bust out of here. That doesn't seem too bad. What level is Team 10? Team 10 is level 5, pretty much. Go. We'll throw them at a level 9. That's the rune keep. Level 8 is also the rune keep. Level 7 is the rune keep. Level 5 is the crypt. We'll go with 9. I think that they could handle anything that we throw at them at the rune keep load. A disagree. Let's go with 7. No. Alright, you know, let's do the five that they think that they're capable of. It's a snooze fest. Well, then, how about six? Is that a little more daring? Suicide, you gotta go with five. You gotta go with five. Alright. It's uh, probably because the gear score is not super great. Especially that monk's. Your gear score's sad. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll let them go do that, while we go off and try to finally, minutes into the episode, 
do with the ice cave? It's the new year. Spring of a new year. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe, I didn't pay attention to the year. It's a new season. Spring of the new season. Spring of a different year. Let's just read this, this quest text. I won't have to think as much. Cold as ice. Investigate the ice cave for signs of Mirage's magic. Accept. Oh, yo, Grace. Welcome back. Here, have this sandwich with extra foot cream. I'm glad you're back. We have another problem, and I'm sure you could help us with... I have to come clean on something first. We halflings, contrary to popular belief, do not enjoy a pint of ale. Movie films, books, and video games have done a good job of covering up our real alcohol vice. Margaritas! Margaritas? Yes, margaritas of all flavors. Strawberry, mango, pineapple, and traditional lime. What, what? What are you getting at all these tropical fruits? That's a halfling secret that I will take to the grave. I'll give you a hint, though. Foot cream. I figured as much. Anyhow, the problem we have is that no one likes a warm margarita. We use all of our ice from the nearby ice cave, but ever since Mirage took control and spread his magic, we've had to drink them warm. My brother even tried to synthesize ice from sandwiches, but it didn't work. The ice cave is currently under some of Mirage's magic, and many halflings have died trying to retrieve more ice. Please, your grace... Please help us get ice for our margaritas. Alright, let's go in. Let's go in and do this. What do you think? It's going to be suicide? I'm not inclined to disagree. This doesn't seem like the best idea. Let's go in anyway. I'm not one to back away from a challenge. Let's go. I just like to take a moment to listen to the new jam of every dungeon. Alright, it's, it's, I like it. Your party's ignoring you. Well, I'm gonna eat him. And we're gonna find the ice snake right away. Holy shit. Agris. Huh. I wasn't ex. Oh man. Crap. Alright. Ice snake. Whew. We're gonna fight a boss right away. I don't know if I'm ready for that shit. Okay. Anchorus, you can mend, maybe? I don't know. You could also leopard strike. But... Opie Grotus can heal you up on his turn. Yeah, you're going to leopard strike. The orb is... Cleric, we do not want to let this orb live. And with that, we're going to Arcane Brilliance all of this. Intimidate this ice snake so that it doesn't hit Anchorus again. And greater heal Anchorus to keep him alive. Okay, ice snake. It's on. I think we can take out this blue orb pretty quick. And intimidate this ice elemental up here. Whew, you scared me, ice snake. You scared me hard. Hmm all this not sure if our better option would be to holy bolt or to bless I think I'm gonna bless Anchorus that's how I'm gonna do it we're gonna leopard strike that ice element and critical hit it for the murder Oh man, you're gonna critical hit that ice snake. This is pretty intense, but I think we're gonna be okay. Dog sack, lay hands on yourself. Bring yourself up some. Um, with that, we are going to heal up Lemon. You should keep attacking Dog Sack. It's gonna work out pretty well for you. And Dog Sack, defend, because he's gonna attack you again, and you're gonna have to absorb that stuff. We can heal you up nice and good, Dog Sack. Why did that hit Lemon? That shouldn't have hit Lemon. You should have attacked Dog Sack. Did you already breach the, your damage for the Intimidate? It's not good. That was too quick. Lemon shouldn't have been in any danger there. I don't like that at all. We're going to have to take you out, Ice Snake. You're too variable. 
But we've defeated the first boss. It was not easy. It was a little risky. We're gonna start finding some level 5, tier 5 gear. So, some of this shit could be pretty intense. That looks like it's gonna be great on Dog Sack. I like that. Uh, that? Maybe, I don't know. That's pretty intense, but I don't know if that's good, really super wonderful for anybody that we got. I don't know. Without all that wisdom, that might actually be worth throwing on LP Grotus. Alright, let's take a look at that. And wow. Just wow. Okay. Well. Well, well, well. We have to go through the entrance. This might be a little cheatery, but we have to go back through the very entrance anyway, and I'm just gonna leave. Spend the one day, or one hour, or whatever, for the fight. And jump right back in. Doing it, load. And we did equip uh, a couple of those things. We gave LP Grotus that hammer as it will increase his ability to heal, but not his actual just regular attack. We get attacked by just a gang of ice elementals. Well, this is worrisome. Not the most worrisome. You fizzle. We'll take you out as quick as we can. Oh, jeez. Alright, well. Heal up, Ancris. Ooh, good blocks. Good blocks. Throw down some arcane brilliance. Nice dodges. And throw intimidates. Okay. Well, the arcane brilliance was countered. You didn't get arcane brilliance because you were attacked by ice shards. And also, you don't get to recover at all. So that super sucks. We'll just punch that guy and kill him. Crit him and take him out. Mm, with all this, how should we play it? I think I'm going to try to snipe out some ice elemental. Oof. Damage in the back row. Fire! Flames! All of the flames. And we'll holy strike you just to take you down. Leopard strike? Oh, you're going to miss with a leopard strike. Of course you're going to miss with a leopard strike. Alright, well we'll heal up lemon. And flame strike this guy in the back. He takes damage over time with flame strike. And we'll holy strike him too. Why not? And punch him. Maybe I didn't need that holy strike, but maybe I did. Now I could heal up Dogsack, but Dogsack can heal himself. And Chris can heal himself. And LP Grotus can heal himself by doing damage. And he'll take the hit and be thankful that I heal him. Uh, Dog Sack actually can't heal himself, but that's okay, we'll just win the fight. We'll all be alright. Ooh, a nice little legendary bow. With strength, constitution, and wisdom. A crappy little legendary bow. How wonderful, how quaint. Okay, we are... Humania is the target of an invasion. Well, crap in a hat, but I guess that's not too bad, because we are not doing super great here, so we can use... This is an opportunity to bail out and come up with a new plan. Uh, we're gonna deal with this invasion. It scales to our level. I think we should be heroic. Extra golden magic, but much tougher monsters. Are we badass enough? Are we badass enough for the heroism? For the I'm doing it. For the heroism. Also, I'd like to point out, in case you didn't notice, I took off LP Grotus's hat and changed his hair up a little bit so that he could be all styling and not have the same emo haircut as Lemon, but the emo haircut fits Lemon, so it works out. Some clustered vines, earth elemental, and a skeleton warrior. We're getting pretty weird about the combos of shit we're seeing in here. That's okay, get rid of this earth elemental. You're not going to be able to kill it, but quite a bit of damage. Um. I think I will leave Anchorage to heal himself and snipe out the elemental. Ooh, it didn't do it. It didn't finish it. Ugh. Alright, we'll finish it with your attack dog sack. And you are going to flame out these clustered vines. It's not going to work out as well as I would have hoped. You're going to mend yourself a little bit. And we'll heal you up retroactively. 
Holy Strike the Warrior, because I'm hoping that the Holy Strike would do extra damage, and then it really didn't end up doing extra damage. Oi. Alright. Holy Bolt this Warrior? Maybe? Holy Strike him again, you're gonna miss. Yeah, Flame Strike Divines in the back. One of the benefits of Flame Strike is it doesn't take as much mana or energy or whatever you want to call it. So I get to use it a lot more often. So it's not as powerful, but it is still pretty helpful. Alright. Take them out with your shots. Punch them. Take them. Yeah, LP Grotus, not super helpful with his, uh, ooh, just regular shots anymore, because that hammer, the hammer's not that powerful, but it does make his spell power much more ridiculous, and that's way more important if you ask me. Way more important. Killed that skeleton warrior, and the stuff we receive is junk. Oh, but we got some level ups, so I'll take care of that. Alright, and I'm ready. Gave LP Grotus another buff that's going to increase our... the party's armor. Cursed Light and an Earth Elemental, just different versions of wizards. Weird. Alright, they're both energized too. I don't know if that's really anything to worry about too much. Or no, just the Cursed Light is energized. Well, let's take out the Cursed Light, because it's a sucker. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here, Cursed Light. No one likes you. And Anchorage, you're gonna mend yourself. You're gonna fizzle that mend, so you're gonna take this uh, minor heal. And we'll take out this elemental real quick. He doesn't seem to pose much of a threat. Yeah, he's down. Critical for 2,000. Anchorage starting to pull his own weight. Let's see, not very good. Yada yada. That could be cool. Onward, we have to deal with this invasion. A bandit wizard with some wall shadow and a skeleton warrior. Hmm, okay. Intimidate this wizard because he's going to be the biggest dick of them all. And then we're going to take out the wall shadow with Anchorus as quick as we can. Ow. Not good, not good. Arcane Brilliance. And... Bring Anchorus back up. Intimidate that warrior, because that wall shadow is not long for this world. Not long for this world! Eh, longer than I thought, not the most long. Start setting fires to this wizard in the back. You have to heal up some dog sack, he is taking heavy hits. Take out the shadow. And now your leopard strikes are going to be on this warrior. Flames for the wizard. Wizard's gonna die soon from the flames, so that's all good. Heal up Dog Sack with that. And Holy Strike, we just gotta take out this warrior. Holy Strike might not have been the thing I wanted to do. That's okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah, Anchorus can heal himself up. And then we'll finish this off with a Wizard Strike. Yeah! What are we gonna get? Ooh! A brilliant topaz. That could be really cool. And we also got a level up from Anchorus, I think. Yeah. Okay, onward. To second to last battle, I think it is. We gave Anchorus a somewhat helpful ability. I don't know how much we're gonna find use in it. Oh, uh, you fizzled on the arcane brilliance. That sucks. Alright, we're going to <laughs> it's a gang of low level monsters. Alright, we are going to intimidate you, rat. We gave him the feign death so that we can reduce weapon damage on him. We can reduce threat, anyway. So that'll be helpful. You parried my sh- uh, 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 I hate it. So bad. Alright, I'm gonna armor up everybody with some divine armor because this isn't going well. That's not going to help too much, but it's going to help out a little bit. We're going to try again for this brilliance of arcane. Intimidate the spider. And try to take out this spider without it being a dick. Heal up Anchorus. That worked out pretty well. Dang. So 
Think everybody's hitting on Anchorus. It's no good. Fire out that dude. Throw an Intimidate this way. And then Anchorus. Maybe you can just punch this guy to death. Maybe the fire will take him out now. So Anchorus is going to need more health. He will die. Fire takes out the cave spider. Alright, you are going to start focusing on the rat. And you will take out this zombie. So let's shatter its defense, or you can just fizzle. It doesn't seem to be super important. Take out the rat. And this fight should be over relatively quickly. Can't imagine that these guys will pose too much of a threat against me. Not at this point anymore, anyway. Alright, and out of that we get a perfect diamond. Okay. And some junk. And we're gonna go on to the last room, I think it is, against the Skeleton Queen! Vampiric and Enraged, complete with a Bandit Ranger and a Cave Spider. Alright, well, we want no pieces of that Ranger. He's a dick face. And we're gonna take him out. Uh, start off with some divine armor, why not, and intimidate that queen. Intimidate the hell out of that queen. If we could take out that queen first, we would, because the queen's a cleric, and that's super annoying. But, can't take out the queen first, she's the boss, she's too good. Ooh. Alright, hit that ranger again. Yes. Alright, you're gonna have to get some heals, Anchorus, because I don't want you dying. Intimidate the cave spider, because the ranger's not long for this world, and throw fire on. If I kill this ranger, then he doesn't get a turn. I don't know if he... Oh, no. Of course, the healing. Of course the healing! Now the ranger's dead. But of course the healing. Why would I ever expect anything less than the healing? Alright, cave spider... Holy strike, that cave spider doesn't really do a whole lot. We're just gonna have to focus fire things down and then deal with it that way, because the queen's just gonna heal if we don't. Alright. Yeah, I don't really know what else I can do with Dog Sack. I'm going to arc the ingredients. If for nothing else, the increased mana regen on everybody should be super helpful. seems like it'd be pretty nice. Arcane Brilliance is so wonderful. Can't even handle how good it is. Re-intimidate the Skeleton Queen so that's not a problem. Set fires. Be a badass. Punch the Queen, miss the Queen. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're. I think this is just pretty much gonna be a gimme. I think we got this. And what's the queen gonna do? Just keep shooting at Anchorus and not really putting any dents in him or anything? Yeah, I don't know. You can lay hands on yourself, Anchorus, if you're worried about dying. Or his dog sack, rather. Sorry. I called you Anchorus. I should know better. You look nothing like an Anchorus. And, yeah, every time I get up to 30, might as well Arcane Brilliance to increase my regeneration. It just seems to be the thing that makes the most sense. Now, my ba basic attacks can't really do much. The heals are too much for that, but then I start getting up into more complicated attacks and setting fires and damage over time. It's not long before the Skeleton Queen is going down. Now? Dead. Alright, Skeleton Queen, what do we get out of our chest of loot for you? This junk, this junk, this junk. That could be cool. Um, a legendary rapier with intelligence and focus. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe for another class I'm not really using. What is this? The Unique Skeletal Scepter, Tier 4. Um, 
I don't think that's going to be better than that hammer that we gave L.P. Grotus earlier. It could be better than uh, some stuff that other people have, maybe. But yeah, the wisdom on that hammer is way too redonkulous. It's just too much. You can't even handle it, Scepter. You can't even handle it. I mean, sure, the Scepter would increase the weapon damage, but I care way more about my spell power. Alright. I just thought I'd point that out. Killed this off. We've saved the town from the invasion. Humania. And now we'll go tell the Jester about it, and he'll be like, Oh boy, oh goody, you did a good job. And even being heroic, that wasn't too bad, so I think we'll do the rest of the invasions as heroic things, because that was fun. Does this seem good? No. Um, and then two rings, which could be pretty damn good. Both tier 5. Nice. Yeah, both of those look like they'd be pretty handy. So I'll fuss at those off screen. Uh, notifications and stuff to worry about. Nope, just a successful defense. And we will jump back into the ice cave in the next episode. Let's just check real quick. What do you think it's going to be? Load. It's suicide right now, but maybe after I equip stuff it won't be. Anyway, you've been rolling with Nat 20. I'm Nat 20, and I'll see you with more Adventure Manager later. Bye.